Hey, I'm James, this is a quick review, and today we're reviewing the Canon 6D. I think the 6D is one of the best ways to get into high-end video with a Canon camera. Let's get into it. As always, we'll go over the pros of this. As always, we'll go over the pros first, and the first pro is the full format sensor. That's right there, and the full format means that it's not cropping in on the sensor at all. You're getting the full resolution. The videos and photos you can get from this camera are just insane. It's basically on par with the Canon 5D Mark III. The third pro is it has decent low light performance. It was a bit of a letdown, but I was using this F4 lens on it, which closes up the aperture a good bit. I had to bring up the ISO to about 1600 at a wedding, and it was a little grainy, but it still looked pretty good. <laughs> Drop that shit. The first con of this great camera is the autofocus. Now that's the autofocus for photography because you shouldn't be using autofocus in videography, especially not with this camera because it doesn't have that type of autofocus. So it doesn't matter. The second con of this camera is there's no headphone jack. Others say this is a con, I disagree. I say it doesn't matter because when you're doing video, you can press Q to check your audio. If you do that throughout your shoot, you can see that it's moving. There's no confusion there. So just do that throughout your shoot and you'll be good. Here's something to consider as a better option for audio anyways. I always use an external mic and an external recorder on the subject or myself because it's better to have that on your subject anyway because you'll get better audio that way. Then you just have to line up the audio in editing. Those are all the cons. Now these are the reasons I think the Canon 6D is one of the best ways to get started in high-end video with Canon. One, you don't have to have good autofocus for video. Two, you don't need a headphone jack. You can monitor the audio, like I said, with the Q button. And finally, it has about the same video quality as the King, the Canon 5D Mark III. And finally, the price tag for this camera is lower at just $1,400 compared to the 5D Mark III's $2,500 price tag. The law of diminishing returns here is strong. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe for more quality content and all your questions will be answered in the comments below, so do that. Time for the outro.